What's up guys, mainly hockey cards here, and I made a video two years ago trying to find young guns under 50 cents to potentially invest in. Long shot kind of players. I will say Martin Fervari was a good call out and was selling for a dollar or two for a short time. But other than that, I didn't really hit and I didn't expect to. We're trying this again, upping the threshold to 75 cents. Without further ado, are there any young guns under 75 cents USD to potentially invest in? Let's find out. Drew O'Connor is my first pick here, coming in at a cool 30 cents. O'Connor is currently slotted for the third line on the Penguins, and it's really not a bad spot to be in. Ahead of him is Alex Nylander, who very well could underperform. If he does, O'Connor moves up and likely starts playing with Malkin. O'Connor, post-NHL season, also had 8 points in 10 games of the World Championship and was over a point per game in the AHL, a modest 11 points in 46 NHL games this past season, playing bottom 6 minutes. Cole Lind is sitting at $0.37 cents and was once a very hyped prospect in Vancouver. Simply put, he hasn't panned out. Now in Seattle, I think he has a chance to make a name for himself. He had 8 points in 23 games in the inaugural season and spent the entirety of last year in the AHL, where he put up solid totals. In the playoffs, though, he became a man possessed. 31 points in 26 games, leading his team to the Calder Cup Final, where they eventually lost to the Hershey Bears. Next is Alex Barboulet, who always seems to be on the cusp of the NHL and just hasn't broken out. He's a mere 44 cents and has 9 points in 32 games across 4 seasons. At age 26, this isn't great. However, in his past two AHL seasons, he's played 127 games and has 147 points. He very well could be an elite AHL player, and that's it. But Tampa does have room for him this year, and I hope he finally can seize the opportunity. I can't believe I'm saying a Howden, but Brett Howden at 55 cents finally looks like he's starting to come around in Vegas. After the Rangers botched yet another forward, Howden was not showing much upside in Vegas until the Stanley Cup run. 10 points in 22 games and was a visible difference maker in every series. He's likely going to work into the top six in Vegas, and that's a great place to be. Trey fix Wolanski will get a shot to succeed in Columbus as they look to be a much improved team this season. However, he'll need to have a really strong training camp. He put up 71 points in 61 AHL games this past season, including 29 goals. At 60 cents, I think he's worth a flyer. Adam Rzyszka had a spike in popularity this past season as he put up 20 points in 44 games, playing fewer than 12 minutes per game. I was surprised to see his young guns trending at just 65 cents. The Flames are amidst a bit of an identity crisis, and I think Ruzichka has the tools to be one of the better players on that team. Of course, it all comes down to opportunity and making the most of it. Jake Evans at $0.67 cents is an interesting play. He's regressed in production, and at age 27, time is definitely ticking. He put up an abysmal two goals over 54 games this past season, and to be fair, the Canadians weren't exactly good, but it's a bad sign. Even still, I feel like people haven't completely given up on him, and as we all know with hot streaks by Canadians players, this could be a $0.67 cent card one day and a $10 card three days later. That is the Montreal market. Tanner Janot has seemingly fallen off a cliff and is at a mere $0.67. Cents. The 26-year-old put up a pretty embarrassing 18 points in 76 games last season and was horrible with the Lightning after being dealt from Nashville. Maybe he just needs a fresh season to get back on track. Proceed with caution, but at under 75 cents, it's not too bad a risk to take for a guy that could very well bounce back and in a strong way. Grigory Denisenko is at 68 cents and is the complete definition of boom or bust. On a one-way deal with the Panthers for the next two seasons, I think everybody expects him to make a jump in his career. He was used sparingly in the playoffs, but did look right at home and is coming off a decent AHL season. The next step is the top nine for the Panthers, but if he impresses early and earns a top six spot, he could be a huge sleeper this year. With that said, he very well could also be a healthy scratch on opening night if outperformed by others out of camp. Lastly, Jack McBain for the Arizona Coyotes at 73 cents, 26 points in 82 games in his rookie season, and in the limited preseason action we've seen the Coyotes play to date, they actually look pretty good. Up and down this lineup, it is solid, and frankly, McBain probably isn't a top-line player, but can slide all throughout the top nine, which creates immense value. 
There are definitely better players to collect on the Coyotes, but this is a low-risk option with upside. So there are 10 players under 75 cents to potentially invest in. Did I miss anyone? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Peace.